Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So this is basically my studio which is known as the basement Dino Dungeon. Okay, so what we are going to do today it's basically to take a look at some of the new figures that we have just purchased. Okay, I think some of them are actually like dinosaurs. So what we will do is pick out all the different animals. Okay, so you can see we have like a new whale right here. This seems to be a new shark. I have no idea like what it is. I've totally forgotten. So let's pick. We have a new lion figure as well. Um, a new reptile. Another one right here. And um, I think we have a fish. So we're going to be adding this new figures into our collection. So we're definitely go going to put this one into our sea animals collection. Reptiles collection. Um, and um, this are the whales collection. Now, I think... Maybe for today, let's just focus on these two new reptiles as well as our, you know, anglerfish, okay? So let's take out our reptiles collection as well as sea animals collection and place them into the boxes, okay? So let's do this. Alright guys, so you can see we have actually like a pile of, um, you know, reptiles as well as, as, as well as sea animals. So let's begin, okay? So the first figure that, you know, we are adding into our collection is actually new, this new Crested Gecko. I don't think we have any Crested Gecko before, so this is our very first Crested Gecko, which I'm super excited about. I think this is a new figure, if I'm not wrong, and it comes with um, some facts. But first, let's have a look at this. Wow, it looks really beautiful. You can see the eyes are like super big. And um, the entire lizard is like orange in color. Plenty of nice details. You can see there's like webbed feet. One, two, three, four, five. Five fingers. Of course, it comes with um, this little fat card. So let's open this up and um, have a read and say what you know it is about. Unlike other lizards, if a crested Gecko loses its tail, it will not grow back. Oh, okay, so if it loses its tail, it will not grow back, which is kind of like pity, okay? But I don't think it will just lose its tail so easily if that's the case. So this is a crested gecko. Let me just remove this little tag right here. We can probably take like a, you know, like a nicer thumbnail later on. Okay, um, the next new figure is actually another reptile by the name of... Um, Alligator baby, yes. So this is our first alligator baby. Very nice. We do have alligators, which I'm gonna show you guys like later on. But first, let's have a look at this alligator baby. It's a very tiny little lizard. Looks very beautiful and it comes with like stripes. So you can see when it's young, it actually has stripes. But when it grows up, you know, it's it's different. The stripes will be gone. So let's have a read at um, some facts about this. The temperature of an alligator's nest determines whether the babies are male or female. That's an interesting fact. So I'm gonna leave this one right here uh, because I'm gonna do like comparison with um, other alligators later on, okay? Next, we have a new anglerfish. So, you know, in case that you guys do not know, I do not have, you know, many anglerfish figures i do have one which is kind of like an electronic figure but not like a nice highly detailed wow this one looks pretty cool and this one is actually from collecting and it look and you can see it looks kind of like very realistic looking as well slightly translucent very cool and this is like the little light bulb that will actually emit light uh, i don't think there's any facts about this so let's just remove this but this is this has got to be our best angler fish figure in our entire collection you can see it's so nicely detailed and there's like a couple of rows of teeth right here very cool and the teeth are like really sharp of course the body you know has it has a very uneven texture that allows it to camouflage like you know like the rocks in the ocean seafloor so let's put all the fish right here okay we have uh, many new fishes um added to our collection lately so this one is um atlantic bluefin tuna that was added um, recently, just a couple of weeks back. This is a rat fish, okay? Very nice little one. Okay, let's have a look at this. This is not an alligator, this is a Nile crocodile. So this one into this box right here. 
Um, this one, it's a crocodile, not an alligator. Yeah, crocodile. Let's just go through every single as fast as possible. This is a veiled chameleon. Okay, very nice one, I would say. Very beautiful little figure. Um, let's try to find an alligator. Yes, this is the um, alligator right here. It looks really nice. And this is the baby. So you can see the baby actually has stripes, on it, but when it grows up, it doesn't have stripes anymore. All right, uh, let's see what else we've got. Recently, we also added this one, which I think this it's a um, sea bass, I think. I think so. And this one is known as a flat fish. So you can see the eyes are actually on one side of the body, while the other side, it looks like a fish. It looks like a normal fish, but it doesn't have any eyes. And it's lying flat on the floor. Very, very interesting. And here is the other angler fish. So you guys can see the, um, you know, the difference. This one is like a really, really high quality figure. This one is more like a, um, you know, more like a toy, I would say. This is um, Indian Garrier. Uh, we just added this one to our collection recently as well. So yeah, we are slowly expanding our um, collection. If I'm not wrong, this one is known as the uh, Chinese Sturgeon. Very, very nice little one. Let's see what else we've got. Polar bear. We have plenty of new polar bears. Okay. And um, this one is from Safari LTD. This it's a crucian cup that was just crucian cup that was just added to our collection uh, a couple of weeks back. Very, very nice figure. And this is the black snapper. Yeah, black snapper. Really beautiful figure as well. We just added this one recently in our recent batch of new sea animals. Um, Komodo dragon, not exactly new, but it's not too old. Um, let's see what else we've got. This is the um, white alligator. It is a leucistic alligator, not an albino alligator. Um, others, I'm just trying to find the latest ones to show you guys first. Okay. This koi fish is pretty new as well, okay? Pretty new, maybe like one month back, two months back at most. We have two koi fishes in our collection. You know, you guys should know that koi fish, they can live up to like 100 to even 200 years old. And this is a gao piece eel. Yeah, it looks very, very um, intimidating, I would say. This is a yellow tail, blue tang, a yellow tail tang, okay? So, very, very similar to a blue tang. As you, as you guys can see, the patterns on his body is like almost similar. Yep, this is a yellow tail tang. All right, let's see what else we've got. Um, okay, this is also pretty new, a piranha. So piranhas, they are, they are, they are always stereotyped to be like man-eating fish. Here we have a manta ray right here. This one is quite an old figure, I would say. Um, large mouth bass. Okay. Komodo dragon. This one is pretty new, I would say. Thorny devil or thorny dragon. Okay. This is actually like a force hit. So when it bends its head down, this one, you know, it becomes like a substitute hit. Um, yeah. To like scare off, um, you know, predators. Let's see what else we've got. I feel we should have a few more new figures, but I just can't seem to find them. Okay, this is also another Atlantic bluefin tuna. Um, sea turtle. Okay, nice. Sea turtle is going to be inside this box. Walrus, we have a couple of walrus. Okay, beautiful walruses. Let's try to find more new creatures. Okay, this one is pretty new as well. This is a fox face rabbit fish. All right, quite an um, you know exotic looking sea animal. This is a haunt chameleon, I think. Nice. So what else we've got? Well, wow, this one still looks very very good. So crested gecko, a lizard that can never grow back its tail. That's kind of sad. Here is another crocodile. Okay, previously I've shown you guys like the other brown one. They are actually the same, just with a different paint scheme. And here it's um, I think this one is a crocodile. Yeah, it's a crocodile. Doesn't look like an alligator because the snot is like super narrow. Here is an iguana. Okay, nice little figure. 
This is a bearded dragon. You can see they look kind of like similar in terms of the colors, I would say, at least. Yep, beautiful bearded dragon from Safari LTD. It's a 2012 figure. It's actually quite an old figure, but we just got it like, you know, a couple of months back, I would say. Okay, this one is the cool one. This is known as the Longfish. Yeah, this is also a new figure that we just added. You know, I'm, I'm hoping to get more of this um, sea animals because they are really, 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 really nice. Moray Eel. Okay, Moray Eel. Nice. Red Ear Slider. Not exactly a sea animal. Okay, but it's a reptile. Ladderback Sea Turtle. We have quite a few of them. This one is quite a nice one from Collecte, and this one is from Safari LTD. It feels hollow. This figure feels hollow. And here is a recent one from Peppo. Very, very beautiful. This is a Goliath grouper. Okay. Frogfish. This is known as the Nile Beecher. Nail Bircher, yeah, very very interesting looking sea animal. So yeah, I'm very very happy to have added all these new sea animals because they are actually quite hard to find. Komodo Dragon. Um, I think this is also a um, it's not a thorny dragon. This is just a horned lizard. Yep. Crocodile, nice little one from PNSO. This is the American alligator. They can actually walk very high with their legs, you know, high up. Very, very, um, you know, it looks like an actual monster to me. Um, fruit neck lizard. Okay, we have two of them. Here's another one. Quite a beautiful one, I would say. Fruit neck lizard. And here is another um, haunt lizard. Yep, so we have two haunt lizards in our collection so far. This one is a bearded dragon, very small little figure, but looks really nice. This is a collared lizard. You can actually recognize this by the very, very interesting and vibrant colors that it has. It has like orange, it has like green, it also has like turquoise and um, dark gray spots. Beautiful figure. Manta ray, right? Here's another manta ray. This is our sea turtle. Um, blue, blue spotted ray, nice. And what else we've got? Marble ray. And here is a salmon. Waris. This figure is like one of the um, older ones, so I will not spend too much time on it. Box fish. You guys have seen this before. Catfish. Yep. We have a couple of um, polar bears. This one is uh, quite a new one. Yep, a beautiful one. This one is amazing. You know, I think one of the dinosaurs sent us sent this to Ross. It's a really beautiful white alligator from uh, Papo. Papo has really fantastic, you know, figures. But it's so hard for me to find them. So this is a K-Man. K-Man. I hope I get the pronunciation right. It is a small size, kind of like... Crocodilian looking um, reptile. Of course, it looks like a crocodile, but it's so tiny. Some of them is only only like a meter long. And um, this is a veiled chameleon baby. Yeah. So just now, I've actually shown you guys like one really colorful one, and this is like the baby. This one to me looks like an alligator, but it could be a crocodile. Of course, it's kind of like narrow, but at the same time, it looks kind of like rectangular. But I would I would still call it a crocodile. Anglerfish, this is supposed to be one of the um, very cool ones. Flying fish. Okay, um, clownfish. We have two clownfishes. This is a um, Cam's Ridley Sea Turtle Baby. Nice. Clownfish Nemo. We have two turtles right here. One is a loggerhead turtle. This one is a loggerhead turtle. Kaunos Ray. This is our um, an alligator. You can see the snot is like it's kind of like rectangular. Sea turtle baby. We have two rays right here, two spotted rays. Sailfish. 
stingray it has a sting right here at the end of the tail so it's kind of like obvious um prehistoric sea animal coelocans and ichthyosaurus i'm gonna pick up a fish that was dropped that, that has dropped onto the floor fox face rabbit fish okay here's a polar bear cup very very adorable two moray eels very tiny little ones a bearded dragon okay a mini bearded dragon from schleich a manta ray this is a manta ray i think but it's more like an exaggerated version and i have no idea what species this is we have a mini blue tang right here super tiny little fish i think this is an eagle ray i i, I think so Nudie branch Nudie branch is like a sea slug and they come in um, all sorts of colors some of them are like rainbow colors just so pretty and beautiful a couple of polar bear cups as you guys can see super adorable okay let me just get the other one so yep very very cute look looking um, bears and of course our new figure which is the um crested gecko and um, this really really beautiful um, alligator baby let me just read what did it right right here the temperatures of an alligator's nest determines whether the babies are male or female so I'll try to rem remember that fact and our mini great white shark yeah so these are basically some of the figures that we have added to our collection um, hopefully next week you can see okay in our next video we are going to add the lion we're gonna add the two whales, I think one whale and one shark to our collection, so stay tuned for that as, as well, okay? So on Thursday, on Wednesday, you'll be getting um, an update on my whales and sharks collection, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys on the next one, goodbye.